All right, guys, welcome back to another Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. We are pumped to be here. Uh, we got a full show, so let's just get right into it. This is a different event that we have coming to, to Victoria. I'm pretty excited about it because I don't really even know what it is. And so um, I like different. I like unique. I like thinking outside the box on things, trying to, to bring something different with some flair and attitude to Victoria. I think it's a good idea. So I will shut up and let them tell you about it before I ruin it all. But if you wouldn't mind, young lady, tell everybody who you are and who you're here with and what you're doing. I'm Darielle Gartica, the CEO of Bar Hop Bartender and Catering, and we've teamed up with For Infinity. Oh, my name is Eddie. I'm the CEO of For Infinity Entertainment. My name is Dominique, and I'm the co-CEO of Bar Hop Bartender and Catering. All right, so thank you guys. We got this interesting concept here. Tell me about this event that you guys have coming up, and, and kind of walk me through and tell me what this thing is. So as caterers and bartenders, we got with Eddie Zuniga and for Infinity to put on a bar hop and brunch. So what we wanted to do is bring um, a hip hop feel with the DJ to a, a exquisite brunch catered by bar hop. Uh, so in this brunch, we're going to have chicken and waffles. We'll have fish and grits. Some key southern, um, would you say, menu items that, that every great brunch has. Uh -huh. right. So <laughs> together we're going to be cooking it up and giving everybody an experience where they get to pick their uh, plate they're going to have before we actually get there. So everybody's going to get a very unique experience. That's awesome. So there's, there's a lot of moving pieces to this. We've got customizable menus, if I understood that correctly. That's right. That's right. And then while you're picking your menu of the good stuff you get to eat, you're going to get to listen to some tunes and some jams and, and all that. Am I understanding correctly? Yeah, you can get tunes, jams, uh, brunch, but you're also going to get unlimited mimosas. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. so that's, I guess that's the, that's the main mm -hmm. thing we want to push there. Uh, uh, you know, we're just trying to bring a big city feel to the crossroads. You know, they have a lot of events that, you know, people go enjoy in other cities. Mm -hmm. You know, Houston, Dallas, Austin. And we want to make sure and let people know that you can get that same feel here in Victoria. You know, with Bar Hop, what they can bring to the table and what they offer. And, of course, you know, my side with the entertainment and just, you know, helping along with whatever they need. Um, this is going to be one of the one of the most you know different events in the crossroads. You right. know, so uh, we're excited about it. You know, no, I'm I'm excited to hear about it. what day is this on? It's going to be, uh, gonna be September, September 19th. Okay, September 19th. That's awesome. And what about how do people go about getting tickets? Or if I want to pick that menu and get that good stuff on so there, how do I do that? The process goes like this: you go to www.barhopbartender.com. There you can get your ticket. When you purchase your ticket, we'll email you the menu. And there you just respond to us with your choice, and we'll be ready to prepare that for you on September 19th. That yes. is awesome. Now, what about for somebody like me that, you know, what if I want to get up there and, like, freestyle for everybody? I mean, I'm, I got two left feet, no <laughs> rhythm, and I'm overly white. Do y'all need somebody up there we to go and just rock the coin? And, and we love to collaborate with the pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. to, you get this, bring it on. That's, That's right. This is about it, and I'm not bringing much to the table, so I might leave that for the, for the better folks that, than myself. But, no, so we got food. We got entertainment. Where did you say this was at again? Forgive me. Uh, this is a 2001 Lova Drive, the VFW. Okay. And, uh, you know, we, we're trying to bring more attention to that establishment as well because, you know, during the pandemic and everything, mm -hmm. everyone's gone through hard times. Right. So, you know, uh, with us doing events there uh, or this event and hopefully more in the future, mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping to bring some more, you know, uh, visitors to that to that uh, location and that post right there. So that's gotcha. why we chose VFW. Gotcha. You know, yes, gotcha. Right. Have y'all had a good response so far? Good turnouts? They're looking pretty yes. solid so far. Yes. If you want to get those tickets because those seats are filling of course yes. we're not ready to serve everyone in Victoria right now so <laughs> right. this will be exclusive yes. if you get those tickets you will be uh, one of the few to try first right. yeah right. They, they, there are there are gonna be people who miss this event you know mm -hmm. we limited the tickets for that reason you know just so we can make everybody feel safe but now only that so we don't overload ourselves you know? right right you know, this, this is the first time we're coming together get your legs under yeah, you it, figure it out a exactly. little bit. yes yep. yes yes but we do we do have some uh, fabulous uh, uh, Entertainment. We have uh, DJ G Rage. He's from the Warden Bay City area, and we have uh, Victoria's own P Dollar Signs. Uh, some of y'all might know him as uh, you know Mr. Club COVID. You know yeah, he was right. keeping everybody entertained mm -hmm. through Facebook uh, with his uh, music mixes and stuff. So uh, you know we're gonna have just a plethora of fun, and um, of course the unlimited mimosas. So That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and you know that, that that helps people like me. It greases you know socially lubricates me a little bit, and then I start thinking I can rap and stuff. You know. And, yeah, Right. Maybe I'll avoid the mimosas but, uh, <laughs> for you all's sake, you know. But is there anything I'm forgetting? Anything that you guys want to talk about, punch on it that I may have breezed over or not hit? 
Um, I can't really hit it all, but I just wanted to say one thing. We do plan on making this be a continuous thing, like at least maybe every other month or something like that, just to bring something to the Victoria area. Outstanding. Is there anything else that you guys need for this? Do you need volunteers or anything? Or y'all pretty much set on that side? Just need people to get tickets and come on out? Well, you know, I would like to say we had... um, Avi J, the event balloons, mm-hmm. she's donated yes, a couple of selfie that. walls for this, so we want to say appreciate that. Oh, appreciate absolutely. everybody getting the word out, um, and you know, um, that's about it. Appreciate everybody taking, uh, you know, part in this and getting their tickets, you know, because um, we we had some uh, um, people been purchasing their tickets, you know, once we announced the event. So mm-hmm. usually, typically, you know, what we see is. Victoria kind of likes to wait to the last minute. Yeah, you know, yep. you know. So I'm guilty so, of that myself. Yeah, 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 me too. Yeah. Me too. So you know, we just appreciate everybody. Hey, you know, making plans for this and, and right. um, you know, ready to experience this with us. Gotcha. So one more time in closing, give me the time, date, location, and how they can find the, their tickets. September 19th, bar hopping brunch will be at Victoria VFW. That address is 2001 Lova Drive, right? Well, I'm new to Victoria. So I, yeah. I never would have known. That was. That was <laughs> So that was one take. On we didn't even have to redo that. Get Good to job. know Hop and our team. We are so excited to meet y'all and let y'all see what we've been working so hard on. Well, your passion shows for it. Thank you guys for taking the hard work and putting t- together something different in Victoria and, yes. and, and trying to... To, to find a different hip hop with beat with some with some rhythm to it. That's so, right. That's right. Good that's job. Good. I, I think it'll be awesome, and and hope you have a, a just spectacular turnout. And so, yes, good job, guys. Um, we will take a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back with our next guest. Since 1932, Walk and Volk has been closing mortgages and doing it the right way. The reason why the Volks opened up a bank um, at the height of the Great Depression was because the bank needed to be opened at the height of the Great Depression. And it was good for the community at that time. A lot of the banks were going under. In order to keep that community sound and stable, it was something that they did. I think that that says something about who Wallach and Volk was 85 years ago. And the only way you get to continue to do it is if you consistently do it great. And we plan on doing this for another 85 years. All right, we are back. Guys, my next guest should not need an introduction, but just in case you don't happen to know what she does, who she is, or the great organization she's with, I'm going to let you let her tell you right now, young lady, if you wouldn't mind. I'm Michelle Hall. I'm the executive director of the Victoria Symphony. And you just got this spot, right? You've just been there a oh, brief yeah, amount of time? Just a little bit amount of time. We're but entering our 48th year, and I've been there for 20 of them. 20. Wow. <laughs> you know, well, one, 48th year. That's pretty impressive. That I moved here and I didn't really know much about the Victoria Symphony and I'm starting to really learn that and I think that that's 48 years that's incredible and for 20 of that wow that's tell me a little bit about the Victoria Symphony for somebody that just moved here and knows nothing about it what in the world is it and and how can we participate sure we're a nonprofit professional orchestra and as we said before we've been here 48 years so 48 years ago it was actually started by a professor from the University of Houston Victoria and uh, at first it was volunteer and, and over the years, it has grown to this um, per-service professional orchestra. Our music director is actually from California, and he flies in during concert weeks. Uh, we have three musicians who actually live here in the Victoria, and the rest of them we hire from the major metropolitan areas, like San Antonio, Austin, Corpus. Wow. Wow. So, somebody that may not have been to a symphony, what exactly is it? And I know they can probably vary depending on... The show type, you can maybe have a, a full symphony or a partial symphony. I know nothing about it. Sure, so, <laughs> a, a typical a symphony concert um, is 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 really what I like to tell people is. You hear classical music in your life every day, all the time. You hear it in commercials, you hear it in your favorite movies, but there's nothing like hearing a full orchestra perform a piece of music live. It just washes over you. You have this shared experience with the people in the room, so it really is something that everybody should experience. And then, you know, there are very avid supporters who are great classical music or symphonic music lovers. So it could vary anywhere from, for example, this Saturday, our, the concert, um, September 18th, we're actually featuring an electric guitar to play with orchestra. And that is not your typical instrument that you feature with orchestra. Yeah, yeah. And in January, what we do is our what we call our Pops concert, which is usually a lighter with some sort of artist um, like Winona or Neil McCoy. This year, we're going to have Jose Feliciano. And right. so we're really excited about not only performing live again because with COVID it shut us down for 14 months. Wow. Yeah, we we were finally able to perform this past April 
and we did a much scaled back version. There were only 26 musicians. We only allowed 300 people in the audience. But now here in September, uh, with more people being vaccinated, we're encouraging people to wear masks, but we're doing full orchestra. We're going to have an audience. We're just excited to be back playing live music again. Wow, now is a symphony, is that something you get a membership to or is it something you just go and you support the shows? How, if I want to support this, how do I? You can buy season tickets, which okay. gets you a ticket to all five concerts, or you can buy single tickets, however okay. however it's most convenient for you. A lot of people use um, the season ticket as their date night. Mm -hmm. And so they know those five nights a year, they're gonna get a babysitter and they're gonna get dressed up and they're gonna go to dinner and have a nice evening with their partner. Or um, you may decide on the fly that you don't have anything to do tonight and oh my gosh the symphony has electric guitar and you gather up the whole family and you get in the car and you come on over no that sounds neat and you'll you'll probably headbutt me here for saying the wrong thing but I <laughs> when several years ago I went to I think it was the John Williams it was a, a symphony where all the the movie like Superman yes. and, and Raiders of the Lost Ark and and it was the Superman we went to the it was the Houston Symphony I think if I'm wrong don't don't hit me but I uh, it was the Houston Symphony Orchestra I think and we went over there and we saw the Superman John Williams show and they had the big S and I'm kind of a Superman fan yes. and what have you <laughs> well they uh, they did the whole show and they forgot to play Superman they oh. played the Lois Lane song they played all that and they forgot the super the whole the reason Superman I went theme. was the, oh, no. they forgot the Superman theme song oh, no. and I was I was crushed but that said I was also like a little kid in my seat through those whole things to hear and I, I know that you all you know I'm talking movie themes but it was still it was the music. It was you. You feel those notes as they mm -hmm. play them. You there's something about live music in a concert where, when when the instrument hits or they pluck that first string or they, the, you feel that resonates. You feel that little heartbeat energy. through the crowd. That yeah. energy yeah. and 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 my son. That's something we've tried to expose him to is music and music and more music and and I think something like the symphony. You know, if you would have caught me at 20, I'm not going to the symphony. And now I'm like, wow, this is so neat. And the fact that we've had this and. Victoria for 48 years is is mind-boggling to me. What else do I need to know about this? I, I really want to pack the stands for this thing and and get this out. What else is there? If somebody wanted to perhaps be, you know, play with you guys or something like that, is that a long process or can they come reach out? They and can say, have hey, audition. Uh, we typically have auditions in January. So um, as I mentioned, it's professional level. So while uh, not all of our musicians play professionally as their day job. Um, a lot of them are college music professors. We have a few attorneys, we have a few doctors, but they have studied music well into their college years. So um, we do actually have a few musicians who make a living gigging orchestra to orchestra. And so we do have um, openings occasionally and we always have our auditions in January. So if they're interested in playing, they could play with our symphony um, by auditioning because it's audition only. There is another opportunity in Victoria, though, if you, um, let's say, for, for example, I played in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I played band, and I, I enjoyed it. And so as an adult, I carry that lifetime enjoyment with me, and I, I used to play with the Crossroads Community Band. Mm -hmm. Well, here in Victoria, there's an ensemble called Crossroads Strings. So if you're not professional level, but still love to play your instrument and would like the opportunity to play, you can always try to join the community ensemble, which is called Crossroads Strings, and they meet on Mondays at Victoria College. I was saying, do they need an air guitar? I'm pretty good at yes. air guitar, at least for my son. He thinks I'm good. Um, they probably don't want that. I, that's, <laughs> that's about all the talent I have in music. But no, I, I think that's spectacular. And, and, and thank you for all the hard work that you put into to something like this to, for Victoria. I, I just, I think this is neat that we have this. And, I, and guys, I hope you take advantage of it because things like this, you know, they've been here for 48 years, but how they continue to make it another 48 is by you going out and supporting them and, and making sure you show up. And again, if you've never done one of these, grab your spouse, take them out there. I promise you, fellas, it's not as bad as you think. It's actually pretty dang cool. You will look good to your wife too. Go buy one of these tickets, go surprise her. Just, hey babe, I planned this whole thing. I'm saying all this and I'm not gonna do it and I'm gonna get in trouble for this later. Yes, but we'll need seriously to see guys, there. good idea. Go, go pick, get the tickets, do all this and just surprise her with date night, get the sitter. I know a few, call me, I'll help you. But I, I think this would be a phenomenal get you out of the doghouse event. This is a phenomenal get brownie points with your wife event. Um, just go do this. Anything I'm forgetting? Well, I just wanted to share with your audience that our first concert of our 48th season is Saturday, September 18th. We're featuring electric guitar DJ Spar, and tickets are available online at victoriasymphony.com. You can get them at our office, which is located at 405 East Loma Vista. It's a little gray house off of Navarro, or at the box office the night of the performance. The box office opens at 630. And 
And in the lobby prior to, we recommend you get there early, get your parking spot. You can get a cocktail, get a snack, you know, visit with people, and then take your seat. Roger. So it's a whole evening. Roger that. Well, thank you so much. I think that's going to be a spectacular deal. Very excited for you guys, and thank you for all that you all do in the community. I, thank I you. I just think it's great. Um, we will take a quick break for our last sponsor and be back with our last guest. Final guest here. She's a regular on the show. We're so happy to have her, Miss Liz, with the Children's Discovery Museum. Um, thank you so much for coming on. You guys have a neat event coming up this week. I wanted to talk about a little bit, and and y'all's sixth annual gala, I believe. It if is. I, gala, gala. 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 Right. Tomato. Tomato. Either, there you go. <laughs> potato, I like potato. it. Potato. Yes, I like it. Yes, ma'am. So tell me a little bit about this uh, this gala gala. Gala, gala, <laughs> whatever we decided event. on. Event. I, I Tell me event. A, I like that better. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this event. Okay, originally we were planning to have it in person mm -hmm. at the museum to showcase our exhibits and all of that, but with the rising numbers in COVID cases, we just made that really tough decision to take it curbside. So we are selling to-go plates. Uh, the cutoff for ordering a to-go plate is tomorrow, Tuesday. Okay, okay. Um, a, we had sponsorships come in. The deadline for that was Friday. Great. So uh, we're, we've gotten plenty of, of that. Got all um, you need there. All we need Good. there. Good. Uh, we do one last push for plates. We the delicious food. Uh, John Welder from Alimento Catering is catering all right. it. It's um, a pork tenderloin sliders with a chipotle aioli. I can't believe I remembered that. Chipotle Man, that aioli. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, it's all the extra stuff on exactly. there that I, made. I, I You would have had me the, the pork. That's where I would have stopped because Same. I wouldn't have remembered Same. anything else. But that so. chipotle aioli. Mm. <laughs> and you uh, said that well too. I, chipotle aioli. aioli. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. You got me on this show. Yeah. I just cannot speak on this show today. But uh, it's, chipotle yeah. aioli. Uh, Aioli. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Aioli, moving we on. We have a great mixed green salad, um, great desserts. Uh, it's just, it's a really good menu, really good food for a really good cause. And this is one of you all's big fundraisers for it's, the Jill. It's our biggest this fundraiser. Is the, the, the fundraiser. fundraiser. This is the one. So that extra support mm -hmm. is really needed on this absolutely, one. Absolutely, absolutely. All the proceeds from this event goes directly to our operations, uh, helping us keep the doors open and create and offer new programming and, and fun stuff like that and new exhibits. Gotcha, gotcha. So a little bit, so we got the menu they need to make sure they got that mm -hmm. um what else here so that this is the what's the party animal part of this party animals yeah. that was our theme uh -huh. uh, so we're trying to kind of bring in uh, the party animal aspect of it we have some wonderful uh, so the meals are mainly for the grown-ups. Understood. Uh, kids can have them too. I mean, yeah, kids but, have, but yeah. that's mainly aioli stuff. That aioli. Chipotle, aioli. <laughs> exactly. That's more of an adult thing. I get it. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. But we also are going to be selling some little puzzles uh, from a company called Ebu. It's a wonderful company out of New York, uh, and they have a party animal theme. So it's a bunch of animals with party hats and playing. So oh, we wow. have those up for sale on our on our website uh, for this this event as well. Uh, you've got a silent auction going, we correct? We do. I'm most excited about that. There's I some, love a good there, silent auction. stuff in there. Tell me about we that. We do. Um, so we've got a little bit for everybody. We have spa packages. Uh, we have a deep sea fishing trip that's going to be going, I think, I can't remember if it's out of Rockport or Port O'Connor. But always close, popular. local. Huge. Yeah. Um, we have a, a beach house uh, or a bay house in Port O'Connor. Uh, nice. We've got a dove hunt and a duck hunt, a dove hunt in Argentina. <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, That's really okay. cool. <laughs> yes, yes. And then a, a duck hunt, a local, uh, I think in the Port Lavaca area. Um, we've got... You can maybe get that one to practice exactly. before you go to Argentina and look like a <laughs> exactly. pro. All right. Um, a lot of local boutiques come through for us, gave us gift cards, little party packages, uh, which is some really, really wonderful, wonderful items in there. Kids toys. Um, somebody dropped off a giant John Deere ride on tractor for Tell little me. kids. Was that no, you? it wasn't. I, I like, it was one of our that, board I didn't members. do that. Whoever did it, great job. It wasn't yeah, me. I we wanted have a to claim doll that. But house. It, it, it I mean, was. we we we're gonna have such amazing, wonderful prizes. And the the board all went together and are putting together a really great wine package. So awesome. for those people that like to enjoy wine, we're gonna yes. have a package of about 20, 20 bottles of wine. Oh, no, so. that's, that's a lot. I'll, what's the bid on that? Can I make a bid on that? Just, we haven't got it all it. out there yet. Yeah, that's funny. It, the auction does go live today, though. It's uh, starting to we, We're gonna Good. start it today, uh, and it will end Thursday at ten. 
p.m. Roger mm -hmm. that. And, and can they find it on your Facebook page? Absolutely. To get to it? Okay. The link on there is there. Uh, we are also doing a raffle. All We're right. kind of doing a lot of stuff yes, at once. Yes, a lot going on. Uh, it's a $1,500 Visa card, gift card raffle. Tickets okay. are $25 a piece, and we're selling a limited quantity of those. Roger that. So, so we've got the live auction. Mm -hmm. We've got the raffle. We got the food and go. uh, the chipotle aioli. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to And John Welder's it. a great caterer. Yes, yeah, he's I have amazing. heard the same exact thing. <laughs> so I, you, we're really excited you to have Get no argument out of me. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, this is the the big event for you guys, the, the main area of support. Um, is there anything that you do other than, you know, of course, getting your tickets or supporting mm -hmm. it and making your bids? Is there anything that you all still need from the community? Any last minute? hey, we need this, or just show up and support it. Show up and support, and then come visit the museum. We will be open this week. We'll actually have the silent auction set up at the okay. museum for people to come browse. So if you're curious about that tractor or that dollhouse mm -hmm. and you want to come check it out, come on by. We'll let you kind of peruse and see what to bid on. Um, we have a new exhibit being installed again. It's, it's all coming in next week. We're probably going to debut and premiere the exhibit in October, but we're really excited about that. It's all about art. We have a, a local donor that, that gave and supported that. I mean, it's, it's wow. lots going on. It and seems it's all like happening the, the next museum's week. really growing and things are happening <laughs> out there. It's, it you is. know, that's one of the things I, I get so excited to have you all mm -hmm. on because there's just so much happening and it, it to see we that building. We try to have something new as much as we can and try to bring that innovative uh, exhibits and programming as much as well, we can. I, I told you last time you were here, yeah. you know, my, my buddy's daughter, you know, loves, Harper mm -hmm. loves to go out there and so. she, that's her, the, they, they go there all the time and, and soon Truman's going to be going over there mm -hmm. and, and, and stuff. And so <laughs> I, I do think it's awesome. And, and again, to see the, the community going there and supporting it and helping with Absolutely. that growth is, is just spectacular. This community is so amazing, especially with I mean the donations from the silent auction, our sponsorships. You know, when we had to pivot and turn, we had most of our sponsors were, you know, gung-ho. Yeah, mm -hmm. no problem. We'll, we'll work with you. And, and it, it's just been really, really heartwarming to no, see the community come together. And well, because I think they believe in your mission. Absolutely. And, and Absolutely. you know, and, it's, and how do you, how do you look and see the joy and excitement <laughs> on those kids' face and be like, you know what, I'm not going to support this. I, you know, no. I'm sure my buddy Mark has 10 million other things he wants to do half the time, but mm -hmm. he loads up his daughter and he takes her over there because she likes yeah. it. And, well, and that's parents a, have fun. I always say it, it's fun for grandparents, parents. It's fun for everybody. Well, we got, keep trying to make little mandates where him and I can go out there and hang out <laughs> and let the kids play so we can get in our buddy time. And we, yeah. we hadn't made it yet, but we're working on it. So we know? had this big blue block area in the back. And I, I went back there one day and there were a couple of dads. The I, kids were sitting on the ground <laughs> playing and the dads say, were in the blue block. You need a dad area where we can Absolutely. go in there and talk our guns, <laughs> talk our, you know, all that good stuff. And, and yeah, no, that's. That's awesome. Is there anything I'm forgetting to, I always get all excited and sidetracked in here with you. Is there anything I'm forgetting? I think I think we covered everything. Just okay. the event on the 16th, the mm -hmm. silent auction opens the 13th through the 16th. We're closing it at 10 p.m. promptly on the 16th, uh, raffle two. Just all kinds of great stuff. Well, <laughs> I think you guys are doing just spectacular over there Thank again. You. And, and I- uh, um, We're working I, hard. <laughs> well, it, it shows and, and we're very grateful in the community. And, and guys, make sure you go to this event. It is again, Thursday, September 16th, the sixth annual starting at what time? Forgive me. Um, drive through for pickup uh, for plates starts at 6 p.m. Outstanding, mm -hmm. yep. And so you can find that on the Children's Discovery Museum Facebook page, but it's actually Children's Discovery Museum of the, of Golden, the Golden Crescent. Crescent. There you go. Uh, it's a long name, but you'll find it on there. Um, if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, stuff like that, reach out to them. Let them know. Absolutely. They are just spectacular going over the top at, to to help out. And uh, one of your young ladies came on uh, uh, Ada and Judah's show yes. this past week. And I want to encourage everybody to check out this new Absolutely. kids show that's coming into town. It's spectacular. It's awesome. Ada and Judah do a great job. But what was that young lady's name? That was Emily. She Emily. is our new education program. Well, the coordinator, and she's doing a great job. We're so happy to have her on. She actually grew up in the museum. She is a local. She grew up, um, and yeah, it's it's really neat to kind of see it come full circle. Well, she did spectacular on that show. She mm -hmm. the 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 kids and, and her. It was a it, it's a new kids show here in town. Uh, and they're Judah. so great. Yeah, they're they so did great. great at and, it. and I was you know for a pilot up, they they knocked that thing. It, it scared me for job security how well they did because they 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 did great. It, they're coming they, for you. Yeah, they they you know <laughs> they don't have far to come. They were they closed that gap pretty quick, but. No, they did a great job. Make sure you check out the show. We'll try to post a link in here or up here somewhere. Steve will make it look good. It'll be there. Um, <laughs> anything else? That's it. Outstanding. Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate you. We appreciate you all, all that you do. And right after 9-11, I just want to send out a, uh, a, a thank you to the Patriots and to our military that has served out there. And for those that have lost their lives, 
protecting freedom and serving this country, um, we thank you. We, we are here because good men were willing to commit violence to protect us and, and protect this nation. And so thank you for those that have made the ultimate sacrifice. And as we have just passed September, 9, uh, uh, September 11th, I hope that as a country we can come back together and remember that you know, united we stand and divided we fall. Um, guys, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning in to Victoria Events with Caleb Shaw. Make sure you comment down below, like the post, share the post. It really helps the algorithms. If you haven't done so already, make sure you follow our page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And if you have an event coming on you want featured on Victoria Events, shoot us a message. We'd love to help you get the word out there. Lastly, make sure you support our sponsors. We could not do this show without them, so we're very grateful. Thanks so much, Victoria, and we'll see you at the next one.